Hello, everybody. Welcome to week 26. I'm going to quickly go over what we're doing this week, but it is building off of last week. We are continuing on with the model train assembly, working our way through that. Last week, we did two parts, the stack and the hitch magnet. This week, we're going to do three parts. We're going to do the train body, which is part one, the hitch peg, which is part four, and the wheel, which is part five. So, if you click into these assignments, you will find the dimensions. We will go over some things about them specifically, like dealing with these holes. I'll talk to you about these holes or maybe edit what you're supposed to do for these holes um, because we're not putting in threads. But every... Um, so for this one, you're just doing the hitch peg. We've already done the hitch magnet. And then the wheel. We're going to be learning a couple different techniques um, this week. One of them being circular pattern. Um, looks like we're going to talk about fillet. Um, and yeah, I think that's the majority of what we're talking about this week. But those are your three parts. Make sure when setting up your on shape file, you create more parts. So we would already have our part one train body, but we need to create part studio. I'm going to move it down because this will be rename part four. What did I say it was? The hitch peg. And then part five will be the wheel. All right, so we have those. Make sure you put those in the same file so you have access to them. I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, I think that about does it for us. All right, if you have any questions, obviously feel free to ask me. We, I want you to try and attempt to do these parts on your own to start. Um, I know it's probably going to be a little challenging for you, but I know that you can do it. Get somewhere, then once you can't figure it out, ask questions as you get to those points. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in class and hope you have a great rest of your day.